Hello everybody, my name's Isaiah, and today I'm going to be looking at Keith Williams. So Keith Williams is the predator that says, I'm bored, I'm just bored, I was sick all day at home, and, you know, bored. <laughs> he, said, he says he's bored so often, and um, he really reminds me of a combination between Newman, um, <laughs> Newman from Seinfeld and uh, Kevin James, you know, from Paul Blart, Mall Cop, that Kevin James um, with, in all the Adam Sandler movies. It's just a hilarious combination of characters and you really see um, Keith exhibiting the traits of both these characters, Newman and Kevin James, while he's conversing with Chris, just just the way he his eyes Oh, so wide open and his expressions, it's absolutely hilarious. And I was having a think about um, if I was ever in one of these situations, which would never happen, but let's just say for argument's sake, one day I found myself in a sting operation somehow. I would either, I would, well, most likely I would keep my, I'd keep quiet. I wouldn't talk. I'd just be silent, you know, um, leave it to my attorney. Or... <laughs> I'd, I'd probably act like Chris, not Chris, uh, Keith here, yeah. Keith Williams. I'd be like, um, cause I just had to skim through it now. And when he, he, he always goes on saying, I was wrong. I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. Can you just get to the punishment? I think I'd be like that too. I'd just want a quick punishment like that. I wouldn't want to sit around and hear the chat log. I just want Chris to get to the point. Just tell me what I've done. Um, and what's going to happen, and that. So, in a way, I can sort of relate to how Keith is acting, because I feel like I might act that way if I was ever caught in a sting. Because, you know, you don't want to sit there and try and weasel your way out of it when all <laughs> all the evidence is pointed against you. Um, you just want to just admit to it and just, you know... Uh, I don't even want to think about it being in a situation like this. But like I said at the start, just keep your mouth shut and you'll get out. Just don't talk if you're ever in a situation like this. <laughs> Seriously. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> He's... Can't really hear what the um, decoy's saying. He's a big guy, so he's pretty broad. Uh, Jesus Christ, look at the sideburn. The sideburn, it reminds me of like a Tetris block. <laughs> it reminds me of like a Tetris block. Um, actually, you know who he looks like here? He looks like the villain from Lazy Town. <laughs> you, know, you know the guy that wears that, not the blue outfit, not the hero on Lazy Town, the enemy with like the Elvis Presley hair and the thick black eyebrows, and the prominent chin, that's what he looks like here, from like, <laughs> fucking hell, I knew that, I knew this was going to happen, if you knew it was going to happen, why would you come, obviously you don't know, it was going to happen, but I just want to hear him say, come here again, one more time. It's just here. I'll turn it up a bit. You know, that's exactly like James Rutherford, the uh, school teacher. When James is, is like, come here, come here. And then Chris comes out and he's like, actually, I want you to come here. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly like that. And he turns around straight away and says, I knew that. As though like, you know, when if someone's pranking you and you get pranked um, or someone's trying to scare you and you get scared and as soon as it happens, you're like, I knew, I knew you were trying to scare me. But you got scared. Like, yeah, I know, but I knew. Like, you know, he, he, he did maybe have a feeling that Chris Hansen, or not Chris, but a sting was taking place but if you knew a hundred percent a sting was taking place like if you got a call from one of the police officers saying Keith bro 
we're doing a sting operation and I just had a look at the photo and it's you, man. Don't come tomorrow. He wouldn't come because <laughs> he knows it's a sting operation. So he doesn't know it's a sting operation, but I believe what he means is he had a strong feeling it was <laughs> and <laughs> that feeling was right. No, no, I knew that. I, <laughs> I knew that. You knew what? I was in trouble. I knew you were in trouble. Please stand up. I'm like, actually, I'm not relaxed. Actually, I'm not relaxed. Like, he's a real smart ass, and um, so he's just, oh, just so funny. And um, you can tell he's really uncomfortable. He's like, he didn't know what to do with his, himself. He was standing up. He was looking around. And Chris just said, just sit down, relax, and yeah. He's not relaxed. I mean, no one would be relaxed in a situation like this. I'm not going to give it energy. <laughs> so, this video is eight minutes long, right? So, at this point, you're thinking, okay, he's he's not going to give an interview. But there's, <laughs> there's still, like, eight minutes exactly <laughs> of footage. So, he gives an interview. He says he's not going to give an interview, and he straight away starts answering questions. What? Look, is he an absolute idiot or something? You're not going to give an interview. I just get in trouble. I'm just, just silly. I'm just bored and silly. <laughs> I'm not going to give an interview, yet he starts answering questions. Or not really answering any questions. He just starts, you know, giving information. I was bored. I was silly. He starts, like answering questions, not, you know, like, he starts giving answers, what the fuck, <laughs> duh, he's a fucking idiot, starts giving an interview, what an idiot, <laughs> just keep quiet, keep your mouth shut, let Chris talk, and then Chris will just let you go, if you, if you sat at the table with Chris, during a sting operation, and you didn't say anything, you were just st staring at him, and not saying a word, after five minutes, I think Chris would just say, you know what, get out. And you're in a much better position having not said anything than having said something. Having said, like, I did come here to meet a kid. I know I was wrong. You're better off just saying nothing. Oh, I don't understand how people can be so stupid. <laughs> fucking stupid. You don't stupid. <laughs> yes, he is stupid. Exactly what I just said two seconds ago. He's stupid, and he's even stupider for answering these fucking questions, <laughs> even after he said, I'm not doing an interview. I knew better when I drove by, I just knew better. Why did you do it anyway? I wasn't, I don't know, I just, bored, honestly. Bored. <laughs> you know, it's probably true. Um, why else would you be in a chat room besides being horny? Wanting to find a girl to have sex with, which is probably the same as being horny. But besides those things, sexually, horny, all that, most likely you're in a chat room too because you're bored. I mean, there's nothing else you want to do. And come on, like if you've got something to do, um, like going on a chat room is something you would do if you were bored. Let's be honest here. I mean, if you have friends over, you wouldn't go in a chat room, probably. If you were watching a movie or something, like you wouldn't go in a chat room. I mean, if you watch a movie, you're pretty bored too, but, you know, he's, he's, at least he's being honest there, like, he was bored, but something predators never say is that they were horny, that they wanted sex, that they were just, you know, as bad as it sounds, it's a man's nature to seek out a woman, and unfortunately, sometimes, they seek out women who are too young, um, and yeah, predators never say that. But at least he's giving an answer. He was bored. That's fine. I, I just, you know, <laughs> I, I just... So you're bored, you're going to come over and try to have sex with No, no. No, no, so he's denying the allegation that he was coming here for sex. And I'm sure on the ch chat log, it says he did come, he wanted to have sex with the girl who's probably grooming her. I haven't looked at the chat log personally, but I can assume what's going to be on there. Um, so, so he denies it, and let's see what happens. I don't know what I was going to do. Your keys, right? Correct. What's your last name? 
So he's pretty honest. He's saying his name. And uh, spoiler alert, <laughs> but he does know that this is to catch a predator. Um, he's seen the show before, so by default he would know who Chris Hansen is. Um, and given that, obviously he knows they probably have a chat log on him. So he's answering the questions, he's doing this, doing that. But again, like, <laughs> you said at the fucking start, you're not going to give an interview. And look at this. He's actually being interviewed right now for his name, his age, and he's given answers. I mean, I don't know if he's trying to seem like a good guy by giving answers, but you're not helping yourself. You really are not <laughs> helping yourself. 32. 32, yeah. He's 32? Holy shit. He looks about 40s, easily 40s. And you were chatting online. Yeah, and... Uh, with someone who said they were Virginia I don't believe any of that. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the... Oh, see, he's lying there, obviously. But his execution of the lie is so poor. <laughs> I mean, it's so obvious it's a lie. I don't believe any of that. Like, you could be... You could have had no interactions with humans. You could have been living in, like, a basement for 20 years and come out and have your first interaction with this guy and you can tell that he was lying. <laughs> or you could just watch this and say, what's this, what, what is this thing here? And you say to the person who's been in a basement their whole life, that's a person exactly like you. And the person's like, okay, okay. And you play the video and the person's like, oh, <laughs> it seems like he's lying. I, I can just tell he's lying. And you'd say, so you're someone who's been in a basement for 20 years, you've had no in interactions with humans, and you can tell this man's lying. And the person from the basement would be like, yeah, it's obvious. And yeah, <laughs> that would be a scenario that would be real. Someone who would just have no interaction with human <laughs> would fucking think <laughs> he's lying. Yeah, and, uh, with someone who said they were in Virginia I don't believe any of that. <laughs> There's no emotion at all in that. Like, it's so robotic. I don't believe any of that. Like, he could have put more emotion into that and maybe it would have been believable. But, <laughs> no. I'm sorry, Keith. You don't? No. <laughs> no. Like, he looks away there too. So, that's a clear indication that he's uncomfortable. He wants to sort of change the subject. He doesn't want to interact directly with Chris because he knows he's lying. No. So he looks away. That's a very clear indication as well that he's lying. She said you, you looked at her picture in the profile. Oh, oh. you're right. You're right. <laughs> and then he just admits. So he's lied. And then five seconds later, he admits. You're right, you're right. Fuck, you're an idiot. If you're going to lie, you got to at least keep the lie alive. If you've got the guts to lie... You gotta keep going with it until you're at a dead end. I mean, he, he just gave up after two seconds. And that's because he's a lazy, lazy person. And you can see by his body. Um, obviously, he indulges in a lot of food. Just have a look at him. He's lazy. Um, and if he just did a bit of exercise, maybe put a little bit of effort into his diet, um, he'd, he'd look better than that. And that's how he's reacting with Chris too. He's... He's just lazy. He just wants to get out of the room. He's like, he would even put himself under the bus by saying, you're right, it was, it was a minor. You're right, I'm, I'm doing the wrong thing. Just because he's, he's too lazy to debate. He's just, a, <laughs> he's a fucking useless prick. <laughs> Have a look at this sorry, sad, pathetic loser. Oh, he's fucking disgusting. Like, I feel like that's a Hungry Jack's hat. You know Hungry Jack's from Australia? I think it's in America too, but... <laughs> Fuck it, hell. How much trouble am I in here? How much trouble do you think? I think I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, you're right, bro. I mean, you know what you said. I don't know. It's, but you know what? It's much easier to type things. I just, you know... <sighs> that is right. I mean, it is easy to type things. Like, I can't guarantee this, but I feel like if you magically transported Keith into an alleyway, in the middle of nowhere at night, 
and a 13-year-old girl in the alleyway at night. You know, I don't think Keith, like, uh, I, I don't know, I can't say this for sure, but I feel like most of these predators wouldn't rape the girl straight off. Um, it's more of a process of talking to the girl, grooming yourself, grooming her, making yourself comfortable with her, uh, making her comfortable with you, um, things like that. So, like, these predators, I don't feel like they're the nasty predators who go out at night, find women who are out, who are walking home from a nightclub and drag them into an alleyway and rape them. He, most of these predators aren't those sort of, sort of predators, um, I think, but, um, back to what I was trying to explain, he's, he's saying that it was really easy to talk to her online, and when you talk online to people, it's different to talking in person, so basically, if he was at a park and this girl walked by, he wouldn't be able to approach her and say, hi, I'm Keith, obviously, and he wouldn't be able to talk to her and then go into sexually explicit stuff, he wouldn't be able to do that, um, and then that's a valid point, um, and that's why perverted justice are able to catch so many predators, uh, I believe, in such a short amount of time. Because the online platform is so good at catching people. Um, because it gives you that barrier. It gives a barrier between the predator and the child that makes the predator more relaxed. And feels like they can easily talk to the child. Um, you know, I still think that like I said before, how maybe Keith wouldn't just be able to rape a woman. Um, that's a different degree of predator. This sort of predator and the predators they catch uh, are a different breed of predator, like I just said. They try to catch people who are, what, what do you say, like your everyday man who goes to work, who comes back from work, who might have these sick underlying fantasies. <clears throat> And do have the capability of sleeping with a minor. Um, but then there are those other predators that are like, you know, junkies. Uh, probably, you know, terrible people who do terrible jobs and actually go out of their way and hunt women in the night. Or minors or, you know, rapists. That's another breed. So, I, th I think Keith is a predator. But he's not the hardcore predator, you know, that would go out... Would, would take advantage of a woman walking home at night alone. I don't think he would do that. But he's this sort of predator who who utilises the computer as a means of making himself more comfortable, making the minor more comfortable, and easing into a situation where he can um, take advantage of a minor. I'd just rather just deal with this and get You're like 20 lines into this. I know. How do you just, I'm not just bored on Border, like, and he's rolling his eyes. You know, he looks, he looks a lot like he, uh, um, you know, Toy Story 2? <laughs> you know the guy who steals Woody in Toy Story 2? He looks exactly like him. If he had glasses, he would, <laughs> fucking hell, <laughs> he would look so much like that, that guy, the guy who steals Woody. <laughs> Holy fuck. Can you find a hobby or something? I'm, you're right. Can, I just, can we just skip onto this so I can get in trouble? I don't... I know I'm wrong. I mean, See, he's like, I don't... I think he was about to say that I don't feel like going any further with this. I don't feel like listening to all this crap. It's true. Like, who wants to listen to all this shit? You just want to get to the point, get to the problem, get to the outcome. And, um, like, he's really uncomfortable at the moment. He's one of the most uncomfortable predators I've seen, to be honest. Like... He's so jumpy and, you know, he's even given, he's even admitting guilt. That's how bad he wants to just get out of this scenario. Definitely wrong. <laughs> and he just, that's it. End of story. Definitely wrong. He's admitting he's wrong. There's nothing more Chris needs. But, you know, Chris, like Chris being Chris Hansen, he just wants to, you know, squeeze these predators and make them as uncomfortable as they can be. And he does a good job at it. Do I go to jail? What do I do? So he's seen to catch a predator before. Um, you don't know this at this point, but at the end it says. So he, I don't know what he... He knows he's going to go to jail, so I don't know why he's asking. You want to take pictures of her? Well, I think 
No, I brought it. I brought a camera. I didn't know. I just trust. I just got this. I didn't know. You didn't know what. He brought a camera. Okay, so. He said, you want to take pictures of her? And he's like, yeah, you know, I brought a camera, but I just got this. So he just got this camera. Is he trying to say that he just got it and he left it in the car and just by chance he had left it in the car and he'd come here? Obviously, you bring the camera. So he's so he was going to take photos of her. Wow. So he's one of those guys. He wants to have memories of the situation. And, you know, I, I've listen to a lot of deep and dark web stories and I've heard of stories where you know they people exchange photos online and um, I even I've, I've listened to a lot of dark web oh, deep web whatever you call it uh, videos there's actually a youtuber who explores the deep web um, and shows you the websites and he reports websites to the FBI and there was a website he went to on the deep web where um, it was like a pedophile website. And to actually just remain a member on the website and to stay a part of it, you have to at least post a child pornographic picture. I think it was like once a week or once a month. That was the requirements to stay in. Um, and then people, you could obviously trade them, rate them. Absolutely fucking sick things. And um, it all starts with idiots like this. Like, he would probably, you know, keep it for himself, but he might trade it online, and that picture, that girl, would end up, you know, in the in the deep web forever, and everyone would be able to see it. So, it's really a huge invasion of privacy. Not just this guy's going to see it, but, you know, like hundreds, thousands of people could see it from these sick websites online. And he's so uncomfortable right now. Like, look, he gets so aggressive. He stands up, rolls his eyes. Look at him. He he growls. Look at that fucking back. That fucking poor this guy's posture is fucking hell. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just just being relaxed. Where are you anyway? Yes, I just I just introduced my you know me. I just say hi to you. So. Dude, it's completely fine to ask who Chris is. I don't know why Keith, he makes it sound like he just offended Chris. He's like, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, we've been talking. I want to know who you are. Yeah, you don't have to say that. Just say, who the fuck are you? (laughs) Like, honestly, just, you don't have to ask people and then apologize straight after it. You want to know why? No, I can't. I'd like to ask you a couple questions. (laughs) He's like, (laughs) he's like, no, I don't. Oh, you know, that'd be good, actually. (laughs) What the fuck are those sounds that just came out of his mouth? Honestly, what the fuck was that? You want to know why? No, I can't. Like- <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know. I'm not denying anything I said. It's all right there. Oh, so... Jeez, that's a big call. So he's not denying anything he's said. Holy shit. So, wow, that that's a pretty big call saying something like that. I mean, <laughs> you've admitted everything here. Like, you've got nothing to defend yourself with because of you opening your big fucking fat mouth. And I'm glad, I'm glad, he's, I'm glad he's digging himself a hole, but... I always put myself in the predator's shoes and I feel like I'm in this scenario. Oh, fuck. But yeah, he's, he was taking naked photos of it and that's just absolutely disgusting. He's a freak. He's a monster. Oh, continue. What do you have? Okay. I have nice. What size boobs do you have? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, you can't say that. Yeah, I know. Well, what do you think you have? Yeah, I know. I wonder if he sort of forgot about a lot of different things he said because I feel like at the start, he was more confident, um, not confident, but he felt like he could maybe get out of this scenario uh, with less with less of a struggle when he was like, you know, just tell me the problem, tell me the issue. And now when he's being reminded of all the different things, the naked photos, the breast size, the, you know, blah, 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 he's thinking, hang on a second, <laughs> maybe 
I'm going to get in a, more trouble than I thought. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to get into a lot of trouble. Maybe I shouldn't have said I've done the wrong thing 50 fucking times like a moron. <laughs> okay. I think what size boobs do you have? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, my God. God damn it. I'm just an idiot. Can I video? <laughs> hey, I don't even have a video camera. <laughs> so, he, so he doesn't even have a video camera, but what's a camera? He has, like, maybe the camera he has is only, like, is he saying that the camera he bought only takes photos? I don't know what sort of camera it was, but, like, most cameras these days do take, well, it's, this was 10 years ago, so nearly 10 years ago, but most cameras do take, like, you know, photos, video, so maybe it wasn't a dual function camera. Maybe it was just solely for taking photos. So maybe he didn't have a camera. For video recording, that is. What size boobs do you have? Yeah. <laughs> this part here. God damn it. I'm just an idiot. Can I videotape us? I don't have a video camera. <laughs> He's such a little smart ass. Holy fuck. No, I don't have a video camera. I want to watch it and masturbate it. <laughs> <laughs> What? You can't just shrug that off. That's a serious allegation. Like, he, I know he can't say anything, but after admitting your guilt and saying all those things, like, I was wrong, tell me what, what the outcome's going to be, what's the punishment. He's just sitting here now and he's just, oh, he's just absolutely getting raped by Chris Hansen. Today, there was going to be, well, not today, but this day that Keith Williams was there, there was going to be a girl that was raped. But instead, Keith was the one who was raped. <laughs> this fat piece of fucking shit was the one who was raped by Chris Hansen. He was fucked so hard. Like, he was made to admit his guilt early. And then straight after that, he's been dominated by evidence after evidence after evidence of things he's done wrong. He's fucked. Like, I reckon he would be one of the most fucked predators, to be completely honest. Oh, I've got a call. I'll complete this part on the next uh, episode. All right. Till next time, boys. See ya.